Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share a quick haul from Paper Tray Ink and then some things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I am in the process of kind of preparing for my upcoming craft shows this summer and I mainly, I'll be selling um, cards and gift tags and some of my journals. And so I was just kind of trying to fill in the gaps of some maybe some sentiment stamps or some dyes and things that I thought could be useful for my um, my craft show. So let me go ahead and show you the, what I got at Paper Tray Inc. They're currently having what they call a blowout sale where they're selling a ton of their stamp sets at really low prices. So I wanted to kind of see what they had on sale and I found some really good things. I did pick up a couple of the regular price stamps but I've always loved Paper Tray Ink stamps. In fact, I've probably, I've used, I have the most of their stamp sets, I think, in my collection. And I think they were some of the first stamps that I bought when I first started making cards. So, so I love shopping there. I haven't, I haven't gone there in a while. So it was nice to kind of look through everything. So the first thing I picked up were a couple of die sets. I love frame dies. And I thought this one was different. This is called the Embroidered Frames Hex hexes die and it's just a hexagon shaped frame kind of a thinner frame and there's the large one and the smaller one and I love using frames on the front of cards just to kind of give a clean and simple look you could do a tone on tone look with a white frame on a white card and then add some pops of color with flowers or that kind of thing frames are great also I, I do a lot of floral cards so they're great for kind of highlighting flowers you can kind of attach flower stamps and dies along the sides of the frames and it just looks really pretty so and I thought that hexagon was different I don't have a lot of hexagon shapes in my die set so I thought that would be something different I also picked up this cover plate this is called the blue skies die and I love using clouds also on the front of cards and I thought this was different this is I I die cut it out so you could kind of see what it looks like. It's basically it has some embossed clouds and then some little cutouts here and you just put it on the front of a card. I don't have a note card here but I have I can kind of show you with kind of the side of this this piece here. So you kind of put it on the front of the card like this. You could pop it up and then have a sentiment or have some different types of you know, like a rainbow or something like that added to it. And I just thought this was different. So, and it's an easy way to make a card too. All you, have, you just die cut the panel and just add a couple of things to it and then you're good to go. So, so I really like this. And then a couple of the sales stamps I got were this Party Poppers set, which I can't believe I don't have, but this was from, I'm not sure if it says the year it was from. Sometimes they say the year. This is the volume six so I don't know what that means but they're just little kind of crackers so the little you can add the little ends to the different party crackers and use different colors stamp it in different colors and there's some confetti and then just some different celebration sentiments so I thought that would be nice to have using for birthday cards I also got this I'll take this out of the package this was a this is called Put the right names here. Um, Paper Clippings Congre Congratulations stamp set. So it has this nice big congratulations here and then graduate and you did it and then just a lot of streamers and some stars. So I, I picked it up for this, the sentiment here. I love the way that script looks and I'll probably be making a lot of graduation cards for summertime um, craft shows. So I thought this would really come in handy. I already have a few graduation hats. I was thinking I could just kind of add those around the sentiment and just some other graduation themed stamps that I can incorporate with this. So it will work really nicely. This is called the Corner Adorner stamp set. And this was from one of their July releases. And it has these little corners that you can add basically to the corners of a card. But I thought these would be nice if you want to make a set of note cards to, to sell. You could use these in the corners with some heat embossing, with some gold or silver, or even some bright colors. And then just add a simple 
thank you to make thank you notes or a simple just a note using um, the stamps that I'll show you in a second. And you could do a set of 10 small four bar size note cards and this would be great to have at craft shows. So I thought this was really pretty easy to use and um, make some quick cards with that. And then this is the, the sentiment that I picked up too. This was, it's called um, Sentiment Staples Just a Note stamp set. Three styles of the sentiment Just a Note and then a couple of other smaller sentiments to let you know I love you, to say thanks for my favorite person, to say hello because I miss you, wishing you a wonderful day. So I like to make a lot of all occasion cards that include flowers. I love to do the stamped flowers on cards. So I usually just either add a thank you sentiment or a just a note sentiment. And I didn't have a ton of just a note. So this was great to have it all in one set. And then I got a couple of the newer stamp sets. This is Penned Elegance. I have one of their other ones that's called Penned Elegance too. They have different themes. This is Penned Elegance 2. I have number one. And I really like these because the scripts are so pretty. And this just has all different kinds of sentiments. Welcome baby, birthday wishes, lovely friend. So it kind of covers everything. And I thought that would be kind of a good all-around sentiment set to have. And then this is, this is really cute. This is a little um, bunch of plants. And it's called... Um, Make sure I want to make sure I have the right name. It's called the, the Growth Stamp Set. So I picked up the dies that go with it as well. Because there's the stamps are so small, I thought just getting the die set would be easier. I don't always buy die sets with the stamps, especially if they're bigger and easy to cut out. But these I just thought would save me some time in just getting the, the dies to go with it. But it just says, thank you for helping me grow. You light up my life. You're truly one of a kind. And it just has all these different plants. And I love it. It's kind of got a retro look to it with the, the the pattern on the vase and then the different, the plants and the little, um, I'm trying to think of what else there. Oh, there's a little shelf in here as well. And I was thinking it goes along with, with you know, the plant theme, but then the You Light Up My Life also goes along with an older set that I have from Paper Tray Ink that has some lamps on it. And I thought that would go really great with it too. So you can kind of, I always think of ways I can combine older stamp sets that I already have with new ones that I buy. And then I feel like you can never have too many plants or flower stamp sets. So these are really cute. And then it has a little lamp, like a little growing lamp that you can, you can add. And so they had some really great ideas on their website on how to use the set. So so I was excited to get that. So that was it for Paper Tray Ink. And then I made a quick trip to Hobby Lobby, which I was actually looking for. I, I've seen a lot of people show this. They were having the Paper Studio stickers on sale. And I wanted to get these, this themed one that is just a bunch of craft supplies. I just thought it was so cute. And I could use it even for maybe the sign on the front of my craft show table. Just kind of decorate the, the sign that I have. So it just has all the, the cute little um, different craft supplies. So I got two of those. And then I was just kind of looking around and they, they had a ton of new stamp sets. And I was looking at some of the sentiment sets that they had. And I thought this one was really nice. I like Stampendous stuff a lot. And this was really cute. It had just a lot of um, different sort of encouragement sentiments. This is called... From my heart and I those are a lot of cards that I like to have on hand as well like sympathy and get well and kind of encouragement so praying for your speedy recovery thank you my dear friend listening is a precious gift I thank you I thought that was a really nice sentiment maybe to write a little note for somebody that has just you know maybe just lent an ear and listened to to what you wanted to talk about I thought that that was just that's a nice way to thank somebody um Today is a gift. Enjoy it. Friends laughed often. Listen long. Hug more. To cheer you while you heal. I thought that was cute. Um, so glad our prayers have been answered. So just some really nice, really nice sentiments. I just thought that those are, would be great for the front of a card. And then I got the, from Sam Pentas too. I picked this up because I love all the little scenes on here. This was called Scenic Sampler. 
and there's a little little kind of farm scene with with some trees. I thought that would be pretty for all different kinds of um, themes, and you could actually, I, it would go really nice with some of these sentiments too. Um, and then the I love anything with like the ocean and sailboats. I thought that was pretty too. So I, I'm going to play around with that and kind of create some scenes with that. And then I always, I have to take a trip over to their wooden stamp section because I still really like wooden stamps. So I saw, I've been into bees lately and I have an older bee stamp set or a, a bee wooden stamp that I got from Hero Arts a really long time ago. Actually, I don't have it right in front of me right now, but it's it's really cute and it, it kind of has the same style as these two. These are from Stamp Abilities and it's just the, a little honeycomb and then the little beehive and it's just this is like a solid stamp and this is more open but this would be nice you could even you could stamp it and cut it out and use it as little um like a little honeycomb on the front of your card so i i grabbed those and then i got i saw this one i thought this would be pretty to use in journal making you could stamp a page with it or even the back of an envelope and then use the envelope as, you know, I use envelopes and as pages and that kind of thing. Um, just kind of have this there. I like to mix kind of the old world look with the kind of bright and cheery stuff that I like, I've been enjoying putting in my, my journals. So I thought this would be perfect. And it's real, I mean, you could use it over and over again. And it's just, it's really nice. Plus it would look nice just sitting out on your shelf. Kind of along the same lines was this one. This is a Bow Bunny newsprint stamp. And, oh, it's just called newsprint. And let me take this out of here so you can kind of see. It's, it looks like an order form, kind of an old fashioned. It's got some lines on it. So again, just something fun you could stamp onto maybe some vellum or a really textured piece of paper and you could heat emboss it or just use black ink or, or some um, distress ink and that would look really pretty too. And then I was, I always look in the envelope and tag section and I saw these Paper Studio envelopes that I thought were really pretty. And you could use this for a whole, like a page in a journal. So it's just kind of, there's some gold embossing here and just a pretty rose and it's really kind of an old world look. And then, you know, I could, you could either attach this if you have a signature journal you know glue this on the side of a page and have it open so you can tuck some things in here or put holes in it for you know a ringed page and you could use it in your ringed journal so i just thought these would be really handy too and these came um 12 of them in a pack which isn't bad so so that was from hobby lobby and so that was everything from there. And I'll be doing a few more videos kind of on planning for, for craft shows. If you're interested in kind of learning about my process, I am not an expert at it by any means, but I can kind of show you how I plan and, and decide um, how much to make and um, what I'm going to be doing for, for my particular show. So if you want to subscribe and, and kind of get some more ideas from that, I do have a blog post over on my blog that's an older post that shows how I prepared for my first craft show. So you could definitely go take a look at that. I have a uh, craft show list over there, which I think I might update, although it is it is pretty, it it's pretty updated. I, I There's just a couple of things I don't end up using, but some people might use it. So I'll, I'll probably just keep it up there. But if I think of anything more to add, I may just update it with that. But um, yeah, definitely um, take a look at that. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in my next video.